Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Reggie Reels here and we back with another video, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to the channel as always. That's how you vote for Reels and by liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you liking my content. But hey, I know it's kind of late. I just want to let y'all know, but I want to show y'all all the options for the Ravager. Everything that you can get. It may be new to some, it may be old to others, but I want to let y'all know what it's about. And I don't want to take up too much of your time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to it, man. So the first option is, all right, so this is the Ravager, and you get this by the Yesha storyline, and you're going to see the Doe and the Ravager there. He's going to ask you, you know, he's going to give you some options. So the first option, if you revive the Doe, you know, you come up to this incredible cutscene where the Doe actually goes ham on dude, man. He goes ham on him. So let's take a look, watch this real quick. Oh, look at that. Ah. I mean, straight punish, dude. You know what I mean? Straight punish, dude. And she, and she galloped away. Hope we ain't gotta fight that motherfucker later, dude. He's pissed. So at this point, if you go ahead and just take him out, take out the corrupted Ravager, uh, you actually get the Doe's antlers at the end of this. And what they'll get you is the staff of the Doe, which I don't use as much, but I went in, I Actually, I don't use it all, but I went ahead and grabbed it just for this video just for you guys Aww. yeah yeah i know but um yeah so basically what this does is after dealing 250 damage the next charge attack causes spirit of the red doe to stampede for dealing 800 184 damage this is base by the way to enemies and regenerating 10 percent health to allies which is really good especially looking for that support role really good to the staff i've I seen it in action when i played with the homies Really good staff. Really good staff. And just so you can see what it looks like, this is what it looks like as well. Alright, so the next thing you can get, the second option is you're going to have to go back and do this all over again. He's going to negotiate with you yet again, but this time you got to kind of get your hands dirty with the dough, alright? Now, if you're a hunter, it don't matter, but you got to shoot the doe, man. You got to shoot the doe. It's all good. It's all good. It's a video game. But you get the Ravager's Mark, which is a pretty nice amulet if you want to make a bleed build. And what this does, increases all damage dealt to bleeding targets by 20%. Bonus increases to 30% for targets with 50% or lower health. Like I said, it's pretty dang good. And that's basically it with that. Now, the third option is, is just straight up shooting him. Like, you got to kill like if you just straight decide to kill the ravager you can just straight shoot him all right i should have showed that clip already but you, like i tell you just shoot it in that negotiation and you actually get this membrane that you go and craft this merciless which is one of the top guns in the game as you see it fires a devastating blast which penetrates through all enemies in its path that's the mod for it 25 percent critical bonus and three time additional stagger I mean, look at it. Bloodline damage increased by 50% for each enemy penetrated. That's really nice. And as you see, um, it also applies bleeding uh, when the reticle is fully compressed as well. Really good. To see it in the action, this is what it looks like right here. All right. And this is the last thing you can get from this boss fight, all right? And the reason I'm showing this clip is because you have to prevent this, all right? You have to prevent him from attacking the doe when you're fighting him, when you decide to fight him, all right? Because if you do, if you decide to kill him before he kills the doe, you actually get the Ravager's, the Ravager's Maw, Maw, the Ravager's Maw, yeah? You get the Ravager's Maw, which we can take back and get the Feral Judgment melee weapon, melee weapon, and basically some claws, which is, it's high. I mean, they high. But, but basically it has death sentence, dealing melee damage since times over 10 seconds, empowers feral, feral judgment. When empowered, neutral backdash charge attacks apply death sentence. And also it does additional damage to bleeding enemies, which can be good as well for a bleed build. And yeah, that's basically what those does. And see what that action, here we go right here. Alright y'all, and that's it. That's all we got here. I'm about to go ahead and just have some fun in the training. 
I already beat one level in Apocalypse, so I'm training up to go ahead and to beat, continue throughout through that. But as always, appreciate y'all for joining in. Hope I ain't taking too much of your time, but smash the like button if I did help you out and subscribe to the channel for more content. That's how you vote for real. As always, I appreciate you more than you ever know. Until next time, peace.